Hello again, lads, and welcome to the Golden Dragon video. Now, if you were there for this stream, you'd know I've actually had this pet for many, many months. My original plan for this pet, which is still in effect, actually, you know, obviously buy it, which is what you're about to see, and then level it up to 100, and then put an EXP share on it and finish the Cultivating 10 series. So then all of that farming XP, well, 25% of all that farming XP would go on the Golden Dragon, and then we'd see how far we level it up. So I think I got this pet around about... I think it was about the video before I did the farming to a billion coins because that video, the reason why I did the billion coins, I didn't actually tell anyone, was for the G-Drag Bank. So I've kind of pulled a little MCU here. So every single Cultivating 10 video has kind of been leading up to this, the end game, the Golden Dragon video. So you're going to see clips from literally like five, six months ago and I, my hair is really short. I literally have not had a haircut since like that video. So if you go back and watch the Cultivating 10 series, you can kind of watch my hair grow which is quite funny to me for some reason but yeah you're going to see a lot of old clips and then we are going to actually reveal what level we got hope you guys enjoy the video let's get on with it i need to turn down my render distance why is it on 64 are you having a laugh how long has it been since you last took a shower i'm a high pixel skyblock player i never take showers i never go outside i don't sleep that's downtime i have saved up a lot of money as you can see i have 534 million in the purse right now as well as in the storage i have everything we need to get a golden dragon I want to get one today. The only thing that's holding me back right now is I just need to find it in the Crystal Hollows. Yes, Sigstar, I am buying the Greg. So, this is where I need your help, boys. I need help going into the Crystal Hollows, and I need to find one. I don't have a pass, do I? I cannot type. So, if anyone finds the, the, dragon, the dragon place in the Crystal Hollows thing, I'll pay you 10 million. I believe it's in Mithril Deposits, right? So... We need to go get that. Why is it called Greg? Um, Powerliner called it Greg first, I believe, and then it just became a, a thing. Do you have a nucleus warp? Not yet. I am working on it. It's like the only thing I need left. Oh, where's my pigeon? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of close. I can, I can grind that out very, uh, very quickly, but don't want to. I've been too busy farming. You are here, DCS. Are you going to buy a G Drag egg? I am because I want the achievement. And auction house is down anyway, so I couldn't, I couldn't get it through that. I haven't actually mined with all my mods yet. I installed uh, all my mods last time I mined. I, use, I still use bad lime. I'm not going to... Oh, it's not a scatter. Imagine if we dropped a scatter as well. I hear it. I think I'm in. You found it? Okay, warp me. 599368. I need to go this way. Oh, I think I hear it. Yeah. Oh, I see him. Oh, I cannot. Okay, I've got to find the entrance. Oh, we're here. Here it is. The dragon lair. Okay, so I can put my drill away now. 10 million coins. Thank you very much for finding it for me. Be good when? Probably never. There it is. 500 million coins. 500 million coins. 50 enchanted gold block. A perfect amethyst. Perfect jade. Perfect sapphire. Perfect amber. Perfect topaz. Oh my god, we got it. We've got it. Achievement unlocked, the dragon's egg. Let's add that. Skyblock level up. Oh my god. I'm very excited. Very happy. Right, now we just gotta level it. Alright, so it's been a it's been about a week since that last clip. I honestly can't even remember what it is. But we are getting very close to a level 100 golden dragon. I put an Anubis skin on it because I really like the look of it. One little feature of putting a skin on, on the egg is it turns the egg blue. I had no idea that that was even a thing. I thought it would just stay gold until... I thought it would stay gold until the egg actually hatches. But no, it turns the egg blue, which is really cool, actually. It looks kind of cool. I like it. So yeah, my main method at the moment is grinding ghosts. I know mining better, but I hate mining. So if we just head over to the ghosts real quick, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the rundown. Is anyone here? No one is here. Awesome. So I can two tap the ghosts. Okay, that was a three tap. What is going on? There we go. But once I get the Dominus up, I am free to just one tap them. There we go. So Dominus is up. Now I can just run around and one tap them just like this. And it's very, very good because the double hit plus with the burning and venomous it just kills them. So I can one-tap them, which makes leveling this G-Drag very, very quick, actually. Like, it's been a lot quicker than I thought it would be. This is definitely the fastest I've ever leveled up a pair. But yeah, this has basically been my life for the past, like, 10 hours. It is, uh, it has definitely taken a lot, but it's actually been fun. I mean, it's made, it's made a lot of money, actually. I think I've made, like, over 50 million coins from this, which is, which is kind of nuts. But I think my plan, right, is because I'm, I plan to do a lot of farming, and I know this video will not be out for months. 
right? Because I've still got to get the gold collection up, which takes a very long time, and I've still got to get the billion coin bank. So what my plan is, right, is to get this pet to level 100, because then you can equip it with pet items. What I'm planning on doing is equipping it with an EXP share core, and then go for all of my tools cultivating 10, because I am doing that series at the moment. So I know, I know it won't be the best way to level it, but having the next P share core on there and doing a crap ton of farming like I plan to, I believe that's the smart play because I'll be gaining levels without even gaining levels. It probably will not get it to 100. I don't even think it will get it to 130, but I, I have a feeling it's, it's going to do a dent in the amount of XP we need to get. Because going from level 100 to 200 is like going from 0 to 100 nine times over. Which is just insane. It's a, That's a lot of XP. My, my hand is literally screaming at me. I'm in so much pain. Only true ghost grinders will understand the pain that I'm feeling right now. There it is. Golden Dragon leveled up to 101. Let's go, boys. Right, now all I've got to do is if I just sell everything I've got, I've got 22 mil right there. Now I need pet item. Is it in here? Because they recently... Yeah, there we go. Pet upgrades. EXP share. Cool. How do I even make the... How do I even make the thing? So I need... Oh, that's easy. So if I buy the EXP share core, there it is. And then I buy the gold. I needed it six times 12. I can't be bothered to do that math. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Like that. We'll put that in there. And there we go. One EXP share. Let's go back to our island and unhide you. Let's put you on there. There we go. The pet is now holding an EXP share. So it's, it gives me 95 strength, 25 bonus attack speed, 19 magic find, which is really good actually. Let's go do a da damage test. So then we have something compared to compare it to when it's maxed out. So if I compare this to my ender dragon pet, because that's my best, that's my best damage pet at the moment. So, so zombies. So 514. 517, 517 with the Ender Dragon pet. And then with the G-Drag, we just get another one. This is with 48 million coins in the bank, 435, 436. We still need the Bill Coin Bank and we still need to upgrade it. So of course it is going to be worse than the E-Drag at the moment. However, we've got the EXP share core on there now. So that will be gaining XP while I'm just, you know, chilling out, doing other things like farming. I'm happy I can now farm again. So uh, to, I need the one build bank. So I think what I'm going to do is farm nether warts because I've still, I, I said that that was going to be the next tool I get cultivating 10. So I'm going to go start nether warts right now. I have literally just finished getting the billion coins from nether wart. So it's kind of like a little checkup. So we've got the one build bank now. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Leaves us with eight mil to my name. Love that for myself. At the moment our g drag is that is not the pets menu our g drag is basically level 110 um actually it is a level 110 what a scam i've got overflow xp thank you hi pixel so yeah we're at level 110 i've still got like pumpkins sugarcane mushrooms coca beans carrot and potatoes to farm i've still got to get all those tools cultivating 10 so we still got a lot of farming xp particularly the pumpkins and mushrooms are going to give us the most so who knows how much that's actually going to give us i have no idea what this is actually going to be level to once we do finish all the tools cultivating 10 i i cannot predict it this is my first time ever owning a g-drag and you know every everyone that i know that has one has basically bought it level 200 or just use ghosts no one's actually leveled it up through farming to my knowledge so you know first in the world maybe who knows uh, we, we probably won't level it all the way through farming but we'll probably do a sizable chunk through it i think maybe once once we're done with all the tools cultivating 10 we'll probably just switch to ghosts because by then I should have a lot of money to spend on a decent ghost grinding setup. Uh, who knows? I might even have Claymore. This video has already taken over a month to make and I've still got a long way ahead of me. You know, this is this is a big video that I'm making. Um, but yeah, I just thought I should give you guys a little update on uh, where the G-Drag is at the moment. And um, I, I don't know when the next one will be. Probably a couple tools ahead. I don't know. Maybe the next milestone level 150 or something. I have no idea. So you're probably all wondering what level did we get? to so from like the nether warp video all the way through to the end of cultivating 10 we got our golden dragon to level 
166. Hey, that's not bad. That's pretty much 167. Okay, I think what we got to do is we got to just go the rest of the way now, I guess. So I guess ghost grinding is going to be that. Uh, we're going to need a combat EXP boost, but we're going to need that version. How much How much even is that? I don't want beard. I want to buy it now. We want the epic version. 9.1 mil. Let's just buy that one for 9.4. Okay, so we'll put that on our golden dragon if I, if I can't even see him. Oh my God, they've changed the pet menu. What the hell? Only my pet. Oh, that's nice. I didn't know they made that change. That's a cool change. What the? The hell uh there we go goodbye exp share hello combat exp boost i think what we're gonna do now is we're probably gonna go into ghost grinding because it's been a while since i've done some ghost grinding i've heard that the dominus stack from the crimson armor does not work on ghosts anymore and if that is the case then we might be in some trouble because I kind of relied on that to want to hit the ghosts, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. So oh, I got to change my uh, I got to change my reforges and everything. Have I got the ghost grinding equipment on? I don't because I know I've got some. Yeah, veteran there. I need veteran five there. Um, there's veteran for that. I can't remember if I need that or not, or if I've already got that. And then we got the veteran five molten bell. Oh, like glowstone gauntlet. My God, I forgot I even had that. Uh, okay, what what have we got? So we've got the molten cloak, veteran three or veteran five. So we'll put that. On instead because more veteran more xp and then veteran five for the glowstone gauntlet and then the delirium necklace veteran four. Oh, but that gives magic fine though you know what we'll keep the rift necklace you know what we'll keep the rift necklace i don't mind losing out on a little bit just to gain like a little bit more money uh so let's put all these away back in here so i normally ghost grind with two piece sorrow and then two piece crimson i would be in like full crimson if i had veteran magic find but i don't so i have veteran five on the helmet and the boots and then i just make up the magic find with the sorrow so it's all right it gets the job done i'm not going for any crazy max setup it's literally just to get to the golden dragon to level 200 so i believe hurtful is the best for damage i have 1123 magical power so let's select hurtful let's tune these stats to what we need them to be so we want a, a strength crit damage balance so it looks like we're going to need more into crit damage there we go we've got it perfectly balanced as all things should be okay there is someone else here can we can we one shot though Oh, there we go. We can one shot. Okay, we're chilling. Look at this. I thought we would be. This is going to be my life now for a bit. Let's let's actually get the timer up. You know, time. Let's actually get the timer up. I I, I know it doesn't really matter, but let's uh and then let's see how long this takes. Hello, lads. So I have been hard at work today, as you're going to see. But I wanted to t wanted to show you that I have upgraded ghost grinding slash rev setup. I guess it's literally just like to max out the XP possible. Like I, I could have spent the whole bloody I could have spent the whole purse and gotten like a max max setup, but like. I just get in this 200 and then that's it. So I got veteran seven on the helmet, magic find seven, veteran seven on the chest plate. I got veteran six on the crimson leggings and then I got veteran six on the boots as well. I got magic find six, veteran six on the necklace. I got Veteran 6 Mana Regen 4 on the cloak. I think this is going to be like part of my Kudra set now. I got Veteran 6 on the Molten Belt. And I got Veteran 7 on the Glowstone Gauntlet. This is literally just for like, just for what I'm doing right now. We will come back in the future and we will absolutely hypermax this, spend billions of coins. But yeah. However, it's not just ghosts I've been doing. I've been doing some revs. As you can see, I've spent 14 hours today up there. I've spent 14 hours and my golden dragon is level 194. We are very, very close. Now, if I go to if I go to the crypts, so if I go warp crypts, oh, if, W spelling. As you can see, no, you can't see. Hold on. If I get rid of my camera, as you can see, I have done quite a few today. I have done 590 tier fives. And I, I had a total loss of 2.3 million. I dropped three scythe blades today. Not too bad at all. Now, if I turn my camera back on, we go to we go to the mines. We go to the mines. And we go over to the ghosts. I'm not going to kill anymore. I'm done for today. My hand is in extreme pain. If I, uh, if I come down here, as you can see, I have killed quite a few. Now, you can... I don't know how much I've made so far today. I've just been selling it as I go. But someone can do the calculations there. I can't be bothered. So, um, we got a decent veteran set up. I 
got my golden dragon to level 194 today. We spent a total of like, I think it's like 13 hours total doing this. It hasn't been too bad, honestly, but my hand is in extreme pain. I'm probably gonna know, gonna need to have surgery on this thing. There's the progress. Tomorrow, we get it to 200. It is the next day. I'm uh, nearly, I'm coming up on 900 tier fours done. Tier fours, I mean tier fives. But yeah, honestly, it has not felt like it's been 900. It, it feels like it's been like one. It, this has gone so fast. It's it's ridiculous. I just done my daily experiments. I've done all of the experimentation table and it's gotten me to level 199. I did some revs before I did the experiments table. So it got me to like 198 and then it was like halfway through 198 and then it got me all the way through to 199 because I got very lucky. I pretty much only got XP drops on my experimentation table. I think the admins just know. We are on the last kind of stretch now. Shouldn't take too much longer. I estimate probably around like another 10, 15, 15 minutes and then we will have the level 200 g drag which is actually insane there it is there it is gamers the golden dragon level 200 let's just kill this boss real quick hold on oh i'm actually throwing what the hell there it is level 200 golden dragon pet oh my god that is nuts look at that absolute gamer right now i can put a shelmet on it i've been waiting to do this for so long man there we go we've got the shelmet on it he's chilling now let's have a look there he is max level golden dragon crazy right let's go test this out what do we what do we even test this out on i want to do a magma boss because i haven't done one of those in a while right let's uh, stop the timer if i can get rid of the timer now because i haven't i haven't done one of those in a while so i think we'll do that and then i think we'll try and clear m7 bearing in mind i I am not ready for M7 at all. And I've only managed to clear it once, but that was mostly luck because I never got any Shadow Assassins or whatever. So I'm, I'm interested to see if the Golden Dragon can like at least get us through the clear or not. Probably not, but we'll see anyways. I don't know what I'm going to do with this equipment. I might keep it. I might get like a full Molten set because I don't actually have a full Molten set. Put that away. Do I have another? Oh, I have a bracelet. Oh, with veteran on it. Okay, so I just need the uh, I just need the cloak, right? So I just I just need the cloak, and then that could be my Kudra set. I don't know. I, I am planning on getting into some Kudra soon, so I'm pro I'm definitely gonna need a, a decent Kudra set. So that's coming soon, and then I think we're just gonna use our Terra. It's our hot Terra with the Warden helmet. I think we're just gonna use that and um see what what what's going on. So let's go have a let's go have a look. Is anyone uh is anyone doing it? No, no one is. All right. Let's uh let's do that. Oh my god, look at that damage go up. What the hell? Look at that fly up. That is insane. Oh my god. That is uh that is not what I was not expecting it to be that much. I kind of want to see how much damage we do overall like I'm going to do the boss all the way through and what it tells us at the end. But yeah, we just absolutely destroy him. Can we get to the red stage of the bar? Of the bar? We can. Oh, we're crazy. God, I, it's been a very long time since I've been I've done a magma boss, bro. I think the last time I did it, I actually did. I got this terror armor. That was it. I think it was the video where I was just like, oh, this armor is insane. When I was just getting into the Crimson Isle like a year late. Boss is fleeing. Not for very long. Oh, I hit him. There we go. 1.2 billion damage. I was not expecting that. Oh, and we got a hot Kudra key. Cool. Oh my god. Alright, uh, let's let's head into an M7 clear, I guess. Oh, I'm a little rusty at dungeons, by the way. So uh starting off with an M7. Great choice. Alright, let's uh let's see. Let's see. Can we do it? Probably not. Because I am like Kata 38. You know what? Oh, hello. Already at 58 mil. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's try that again. Because I did kind of just rush him. How am I on cooldown? Yeah, I am. I am only like, uh, yeah, I'm only just Casa 38. So we've got some grinding to do still before we actually get to this level. But hey, man, mini bosses aside, we're doing fine. Oh, my God. I forgot about the fells and the wither answers. Oh, my God. I'm scared. Ah! Oh, okay. I thought the fails were going to be much worse. Yeah, look at that. We still, we one tapped the fails. Awesome. That is good to know. Okay, there's a mini boss in this room. Yo, let's, uh, I'm not actually doing a serious dungeon run or anything, but yeah, let's get the blessings as well. We might as well. Oh my God. How many? Just teleport me there. Thank you. Oh, purple Jerry. Let's go. 
Ah! Oh god, he came out of nowhere. Oh, that's terrifying. Okay, so we got, we pretty much got to Blood Room. I really want to kill a Shadow Assassin though. I don't, I want to kill a Shadow Assassin in M7. I want to do it. I feel like we could. I feel like, like, if we prepare, because I've got the Wither Cloaks, we Wither Cloak, I'm Wither Cloak, I spray, and then boom, like that, we're chilling. Oh, that fells nearly got me. Oh, that was scary. Okay, a Shadow Assassin. I see you. Where's he at? I need to... Let me just clear all these so I don't get distracted. Where is he? Where's he at? There he is. Okay, teleport. Come on. Come on. Teleport. And we ice spray. Now we're chilling. Okay, we can... We can... We can clear M7. This is good. This is very good. We like this. Because like I said, I'm Cata 38. I should not be able to clear M7. It is literally just because I've got like really good gear. I can even still upgrade it. Like I'm planning to spend a whole bunch of money on this this stuff. It's going to be crazy. But yeah, that was the uh, that was the golden dragon pet. I guess now we actually just grind out dungeons until we can do this for real. Like with a team.